Joining us now is Declan Emelumba, who is the Imo State Commissioner for Information. Good morning, Mr. Declan. Good morning, my dear. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, Good. What's the latest of the fight to manage the spread of COVID-19 in Nemo State? I didn't quite get you. Can you come again, please? All right. What is the latest? Uh, bring us up to speed in the fight to manage the spread of COVID-19 in your state. Well, the latest is that we are uh, up and doing. We're, we're equal to the tax, and uh, the government has been very proactive. And uh, uh, so far, so good, as far as Imo State is concerned. There was a, a case of uh, uh, some people who were on transit, who were uh, uh, accosted and uh, tested. About 96 samples were taken, and then they were out of the 96, 25, when the results came out, the, the 25 of them turned uh, positive. But that's, that is not really an Imo case. These are people who were on transit. And that's why we have been manning our borders very, very uh, carefully. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that is about the letter. The, the, the people, uh, incidentally, have also uh, been parceled back to their, the, wherever they were coming from. So is so, Imo so State on lockdown? So is your, sorry, is your state, could you clarify if, if your state is on lockdown or considering uh, easing it further? You said, you said what, what I didn't get, you said whether my state, state is on lockdown. Is your state on lockdown or considering easing it further? Well, if I got you right, I, honestly, this phone is not quite clear, but my state is not on lockdown right now because that's the aspect I had. I didn't get the other yes. aspect of the question. All right. uh, but but we are we are observing that we have a coffee that is in place. But the borders, the borders leading into uh, and out of the state are completely sealed. Nobody is allowed to come in or go out. So anybody we see coming through the border, the person is accosted and uh, and uh, uh, appropriate safety measures taken. All right. The Imo State Chairman of COVID-19 Task Force, Professor Morris Iwu, recently referred to silent of the virus in the state. What's the government doing about this? He, he, said, referred, to, he referred to what? He, uh, Professor Morris Iwu, in an yes. earlier conversation, talked about the silence of the virus and implied that there could be more, uh, you know, carriers of the virus in the state. What's the government doing about this? He said he referred to the silence. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't get you. I didn't get what There you could said. be some more carriers, silent carriers, if you like, of the virus in the state. How are you able to uh, get all those who are potentially uh, positive? He said silent carriers. Sil Did you say silent carriers? Uh, Commissioner, the question yeah. is, how are you able to find out all those who are potentially positive? What's your efforts towards contact tracing, you know, and being able to bring all those who are potential positive cases in the state? Everybody is a potential uh, uh, positive uh, uh, person it's until the person is tested otherwise. So what the government is doing is to do random some uh, testing uh, and then increasing the number of people that are being tested every day. Uh, but incidentally, uh, so far, we have uh, not recorded any other case uh, among those that have been tested. For instance, recently, all the committee, the, the, uh, His Excellency, the Governor of Imo State, distinguished Senator Hupu, ordered that all the commissioners should be tested, you know, uh, during when we had a school last week. And all the examples were taken, and the results turned out all of all of them negative. So uh, uh, there, there, there is this random sample, uh, testing going on. To, you know, that's the only way to determine whether somebody is really a carrier of the virus or not. All right. We, we, we understand that there was some tension at Ngo Okpala after naval officers allegedly killed two youths at Okpala Junction, forcing irate youths of the community to barricade the road in protest. Are you aware of this? And what's the true picture of that event? It's after who, after what happened in Ngobana. Can you hear me, Commissioner? I am not hearing you very say after what happened in Ngobana. All right, so there the, the, we hear of tension at Ngoakpala after naval officers. Did you hear me? 
Yes, I had it. Okay. Now, yes. After naval officers killed two youths at Okpala Junction, and this made you know the youths in that community to barricade the road in protest. So we're asking, are you aware of this, and what is the true picture of what transpired? Well, uh, to the best of my knowledge, I'm not aware of uh, um, the, the case of naval officers killing uh, uh, youths, but I know that there, there was a case of uh, an incident of uh, some tanker drivers who were having uh, issues. But I know that, uh, by and large, the situation in Ngoba is under control. There's no, there's no any. I mean, there's no serious issue there now. The transition committee chairman was able to move in to arrest the situation that was sometime about two or three of uh last week sometime last week uh but i think the situation is under control now all right thank you so very much uh commissioner for your time with us commissioner for imo state on information and strategy and do keep safe out there thank you very much for for having me all right